Hello everybody out there in Third Wheel Virtual World. Thank you all so much for joining us for our first ever virtual beer dinner and for our, our third anniversary. Um, I couldn't be more proud and excited uh, to be turning three and I'm just so excited you all were able to join us as much as you could for this event. So let's get started. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Abby Spencer. I am the head brewer for Third Wheel Brewing. Um, I'm also a certified Cicerone and part of that just uh, encompasses knowledge on food and beer, their interactions, their pairings. I get the awesome task of working with Corey, who's our head chef at The Window, uh, the restaurant within Third Wheel, who prepared all your food tonight. So Corey will let me know his uh, ideas, um, the ingredients, the foods. Um, a lot of times we'll get to try them and then we'll both together start honing in and um, pairing the dishes that he creates with the Third Wheel beers. So this is what we came up with. For those of you who have joined us on every other beer dinner before, one, thank you so much. Welcome back. Um, I hope this experience is um, almost as good as being there together, but you will recognize all four dishes tonight. So these were the favorites of all of our previous beer dinners, but I have changed up the, the beer pairing. So it's gonna be a little different. You are welcome to pause me at any time go get something else, see what else you like. Uh, that's the upside to the virtualness of this is um, you can have some fun with it, play around, enjoy. The very first thing we're gonna talk about as I do at all of our beer dinners is the general theory behind pairing beer and food. So number one, intensity. When we do our food and beer pairings, we need to be able to match the level of intensity of the food and the beer. So you don't want to pair something like a super light lager with a super intense like flowers chocolate cake with raspberry sauce. That intensity of that cake and the raspberry and so much so much richness is going to just dominate all the flavors of the beer and you're going to lose the beer completely. But you want to try to hone in levels of intensity. So that includes complexity, that includes number of ingredients, spices, cooking style. So something that is poached has much less level of intensity as something that's smoked or barbecued. The second thing um, that we think about when we talk about food and beer pairing is finding complementary flavors. So this is kind of the easy one. So bready and bready kind of go together. Chocolate and chocolate go together. Sweetness and sweetness, they, they work well together. And sometimes it's counterintuitive because you would think it would be too intense, but a lot of these flavors actually come together together and they they meld really well together herbal likes herbal citrus like citrus so when i'm pairing i'm pulling some of these uh more dominant flavors in Corey's dishes and i'm finding those similar flavors in our beers to try to find if it works or not number three on the theory of food and beer pairing finding contrasting elements so this is a fun balancing act um we think about foods that we normally eat um, already have a lot of this balancing. So sweet and spicy go to really well together. Uh, sweet and sour go very well together. Um, also, you can talk about balancing and um, uh, that push and pull with mouthfeel. So high levels of carbonation are great for cleansing your palate of something really rich and oily and fatty. So we're gonna be constantly looking for that exact relationship between our food and our beer pairings this evening. So those are the top three things that I'll focus on, but some really fun key points that I will also push throughout the evening is nostalgia and familiarity. So you think about foods from childhood, you think about foods that you already know and you enjoy and you love, you think about foods that kind of just naturally come together and um, work really well together, and we can recreate that experience between a beer and a food. This is very um, based on your personal experience, it's very cultural based, so I think, um, I think my normal example of this is the grilled cheese examples, that sharp cheddar cheese with a really awesome like English brown ale together, toasty, nutty, um, bready. You put those two together and you get this awesome grilled cheese effect. So lots of nostalgia, you know, it makes me think of a little bit of childhood. 
at the end of the day, we're always looking for the home run. We want our food and our beer both to improve and to create together an entire new experience for you. It doesn't happen with every pairing, it can't, but it's always fun when it does. One of my favorites is carrot cake and a double IPA. We've done it at the brewery before. If you have not done it, try it. Double IPA and a slice of carrot cake. I promise you will not be disappointed. We're gonna hopefully find some of these pairings tonight and um, let's get started.